Welcome in this video we are going to verify Green's theorem for this function. Verify Green's theorem in the plane for this integral xy plus y square dx plus x square dy over the curve c. Where c is closed curve for the region bounded by y equal to x and y equal to x square. So what is Green's theorem? So Green's theorem can be applied in a plane. So Green's theorem for a plane. Here the plane is xy plane. That means the line integral over the curve C m dx plus n dy can be written equal to the integration along region R del n del x minus del m del y dx dy. What are C and R? So it is in the plane xy and this curve is actually C which is the boundary of this region R. So in this way C and R are connected. So C is the boundary of that region R or over which this integral is to be calculated. What are M and N? M and N are two functions which are the functions of x and y only. That means these are the functions lying in this plane. So what is given? It is given C, we have to find xy plus y square dx plus x square dy. So this will be equal to integration along region del n del x and that means del over del x, x square minus del m del y. So it is del over del y, xy plus y square dx dy. So this we will have to prove that means we will have to calculate this one. This is left hand side and we have to calculate the right hand side and we have to show that these two are equal. So first we will start with the left hand side. So now the functions are to know the curve C what we will have to do? It is represented by two equations y equal to x and y equal to x square. So it is the equation of a straight line with 45 degree slope. So it will be like this one. It is the equation of parabola and this parabola will be like this one. Now we will have to find the points of intersection so that we can find the closed curve. So the point of intersection can be found by solving these two equations x y equal to x y equal to x square. So y equal to x and y equal to x square. So by solving it is x square minus x equal to 0 or it is x x minus 1 equal to 0. So it is x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. When x equal to 0 y will always be 0. It will be 0 here, 0 here that means y equal to 0. When x equal to 1 it is y equal to 1 here, y equal to 1 here. So we can say y equal to 1. So the coordinates are 0, 0 and 1, 1. With these coordinates I can draw the curve. So intersection points are 0, 0 and 1, 1. Now, this is a straight line or you can say it is y equal to x. This is parabola or you can say it is y equal to x square. Now to trace this curve, we will have to trace in this way so that the region lies left of the curve. So we will trace like this one. 0, 0 to 1, 1 along this parabola and 1, 1 to 0 along this straight line. We call this O, we will call this A. And this curve is actually C curve which is given here. So this curve is going from O to A along this path and coming back from A to O along this path, we can write it as B here and D here. That means the curve curve will be O, B, A, D, O and it will have two parts. First O, B, A, then A, D, O. That means we have to find this integral along these two parts. So this integral will become the C integral xy plus y square dx plus x square dy 
it will be the sum of these two integral o b a and a d o so it is x y plus y square d x plus x square d y it is x y plus y square d x plus x square d y so along the path o b a along the path o b a it is y equal to x square along the path a c o it is y equal to x so along o b a so it is y equal to x square it means it dy equal to 2x dx and now the variable is x so coordinates are 0 0 to 1 1 that means x varies from 0 to 1 and x varies from 0 to 1 now along a d o it will be straight line that is y equal to x and dy will be equal to dx and the x varies from it will be 1 1 to 0 0 that means it will be 1 to 0 so it will be 1 to 0 now we will put here in the right side so it will be o b a o b a along o b a it is x varies from 0 to 1 what is y equal to x square dy equal to 2x dx y equal to x square x here so it will be x cube y equal to x square y square that means x4 dx here plus x square and then 2x dx so it is 2x dx plus ado along ado limits are x equal to 1 to 0 it is xy xy y is x so it is x square plus y is x it is also x square dx and then x square dy is x to dx plus x square dx so it is equal to x cube x4 and it is also 2x cube so it will become 3x cube plus x4 dx x equal to 0 to 1 plus x equal to 1 to 0 it is x square it is x square it is x square so it is 3x square dx the integration of 3x cube will be x4 by 4 so it is 3 by 4 x4 it will be x5 by 5 so it will be x5 by 5 and the limits of this integration the half of this one and the limits of this integration will be x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 plus this 3x square will be integration will be x cube and the limits are x equal to 1 to 0 now putting the limits this 3 by 4 x4 four, that means it is 3 by 4 x5 five by 5 that is equal to 1 upon 5 and the 0 will be it will be 0 it is x cube that means it is 0 and it is x cube that is 1 cube that is minus 1 so we will take 20 common 4 5 is a 20 5 3 is a 15 5 4 is a 20 that means plus 4 and this it will be minus of 20 because it is minus 1 so it is minus of 1 upon 20 in this way i have calculated the left hand side so left hand side is actually minus of 20 now i will calculate the right hand side so left hand side of this one this one is actually how much it is minus of 1 upon 20 now i will calculate this one So now, now we will calculate the right hand side. So the right hand side is, so the right hand side is equal to integration along this region R del N del X minus del M del Y dx dy. And it is also equal to del over del X you put the values of n and m so it is 
x square minus del over del y x y plus y square dx dy so del over del x x square is 2x integration of this one with respect to x integration with respect to y it will give x and then 2y so it will be 2x minus this bracket this bracket is x plus 2y it is dx dy and the integration along this region so it will be x and minus 2y we can write it as dy dx so that we can put the limit of y first and then we can put the limit of x so now the task is to find the limits of x and y now we can see first we will have to put the limits of y the y varies from this curve to this curve that means y varies from this point this curve is y equal to x square to y equal to x and then where the x varies x varies from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 irrespective of y so the limits are limits are y varies from y equal to x square to y equal to x and x varies from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. Now we will put the limits x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 and y equal to x square to y equal to x and then x minus 2y dy dx. What does it mean? It means first we will have to solve this part only and then we will have to integrate with respect to x. So first we will integrate with respect to y and we solve the inner part. So x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 and the integration of this one with respect to y will be xy minus y square and the limits are y equal to x square to x dx. So on solving this one we can have integration x equal to 0 to 1 xy xy we will put x first that means x is square y equal to x means it is minus x is square bracket and then minus y equal to x is square it will become x cube if y equal to x is square it become minus of x4 then bracket dx this x square cancels out to be x square the minus sign goes inside that means it becomes x equal to 0 to 1 or it becomes x4 minus x cube dx the integration of this one will be x5 by 5 minus x4 by 4 and the limits are 0 to 1 so it will be 1 upon 5 minus 1 upon 4 minus 0 you can say we can take 20 common that is 4 minus 5 that is minus of 1 upon 20. In this way, I have calculated the right hand side. The right hand side is also minus of 1 upon 20, and the left hand side, as I have calculated, it was minus of. So, this is also equal to minus of 1 upon 20. In this way, we can we have in this way we have proved the Green's theorem. That means left hand side, this left hand side equal to right hand side equal to minus 1 upon 20 in this way we have proved the green serum for the given question the notes of this video in pdf format can be found in the description below thank you